Good morning world, welcome back to my channel. We are doing an unfiltered, unedited day in my life. And you guys know the rules. I don't edit, I don't filter, we just film the day. And that's what's happening. My hatch alarm just went off. I haven't woken up to my hatch alarm in a minute. It was amazing. And I slept in a little bit because I'm still working on my sleep from all my travels. But today is going to be a really fun day. I need water. Ugh. More importantly, need coffee. Like, my mouth just... Gosh, no matter what the temperature is outside, I'm drinking hot coffee. What mug do I want? I want a big mug this morning. We're going to do this one that I got in like a PR package. So I don't know where it's from, but I love it so much. You guys didn't know. <laughs> I don't know how you wouldn't know because I'm so obnoxious about it. I drink caffeine. Like I actually had caffeine the other day because I really needed it. But day to day in the morning, I'll drink decaf coffee. Um, this is the No Fun Joe cat coffee because sometimes it makes me anxious if I don't need it. So basically what I'll do, my hair looks so funny right now. I will make the decaf coffee and then if I'm like, okay, I'm tired, like I need caffeine, then I have caffeine. Highly suggest it. I know other people that do that as well. Um, oh wait, I gotta put my creamer in first so that it all mixes together as the coffee pours in. The sweet sound of coffee pouring. I love that. <laughs> okay, I just got more of these candles because I'm obsessed. This is salt and stone, but it's the ro black rose and vetiver scent. If you've smelled the Edition Hotel, it's what it smells like. And I've been trying to be better about cutting my wicks, but I'm not in the mood this morning, so I... <laughs> exposing myself here, I just kind of like tap, tap, tap the balls off so that it's... <laughs> Don't come for me, okay? I'm lazy right now. And then I'm also lighting Paige Lorenz's Dairy Boy scent. It's the New England Summer. It smells divine. And it's been burning really well. Like, I don't even need to tap it. No cutting wicks here, baby. To the couch we go. I've been away from my apartment for like a week and a half. So I'm very happy to be back in my routine for a little bit before I go to Florida. Um, for my brother's grad events. Today's quote of the day, stay out of your own way, <laughs> mood. This is my planner I designed, Doing Well Daily. It's always linked below and you can go to doingwelldaily.com to purchase your own, but I'm gonna fill this out and just kinda start my day. So we have a busy day, I have lots to get done. Um, so I wanna like sit, drink my coffee, play some music, vibe out, and fill this out. All right, I had my morning ritual time. Now it's time to truly get the day going. I have some fun things today. Well, mainly one big fun thing. My friends, Jazz, Hallie, and Carly, they have a podcast called Hot Girl Talks, and they're doing a brunch at La Duray, or La Duray with Jonathan Adler. And I think we get to go home with stuff. And Jonathan Adler has really cute apartment decor. Maybe I can find some stuff for my shelves. And I'm excited. I haven't seen my... Actually, that's such a lie. I saw them last week at Stagecoach. But it feels like it's been a minute since I've done like a little influencer event moment. Um, these are my favorite pads. I've used them for literally years. Naturally serious cold-pressed peel pads. You can get them at Sephora. I think on Revolve, too. Um... And we're gonna do a little Sunday Riley vitamin C this morning. Just kind of switch up every morning when I put on my face, which is not good. And I am breaking out a little bit, but you know, we do what we do. It's not because of Sunday Riley, that's for sure. Um, I should probably put on some pants too as I'm filming a video. <laughs> but um, yeah. I need to make my bed and open these blinds, baby. <sighs> Uh, try not to flash you guys while I do this but um, I want to make my bed get my life together obviously you know the whole nine yards and yeah 
Just put on this set from Set Active. I love this material so much. I think it's the Lux form. It's so flattering and comfortable, and it's amazing. Deodorant time. Today I'm gonna use Salt and Stone. I'm in my Salt and Stone era. I'm obsessed with that candle I was showing you guys earlier. It smells so good. And then, if you've been watching me on YouTube for a while, this randomly like went viral on TikTok yesterday because I posted a TikTok. Realizing I've never talked about this on any social media other than my YouTube channel. It's the Dirty Body Spray from Lush. Um, and it's amazing. It There's no other way to explain it other than you smell like you just got out of the shower. It's an intense scent. It's like spearmint, minty, tarragon. But it, oh my god, it smells so fresh, so good. Like in high school, I would get compliments all the time and it doesn't feel like, it doesn't smell like, oh, she's wearing perfume. It's like, oh, she just naturally smells good, which we love. I'm just going to slip on my sandals because I have to go down to my lobby and pick up my laundry, actually. And you're probably wondering, huh? You have a washer dryer. Yes, I do. But my washer broke at the most convenient time ever, which was in between Stagecoach and uh, Miami, and I literally couldn't wash anything, and it was crazy. My washer broke. It, it was old, they said. So I live in a condo, technically, so the owner bought a new washer, and it's coming next week. But until then, I'm having to send out all of my jewelry, my jewelry, send out all of my laundry. And um, it's actually pretty fast. I used the Hamper app, and they picked it up. Sunday night and today's Tuesday morning and they already dropped it off so and they fold it and I had some stuff to get dry cleaned and they did that as well so I'm not mad about it I have to spend a little bit more money but everything's folded and I had a lot of laundry because I also had the laundry that was stuck oh my god that was the other thing it was stuck in my washer like the cycle ended and the door was locked I tried everything I looked everything up I clicked the circuit breaker, I unplugged it, could not get the door unlocked, so finally they came to my apartment while I was gone and got it open, but then I was like, oh my god, everything's gonna get so moldy, so I sent it out right away to get washed. So I'm hoping nothing smells weird, and I hopefully, hopefully these people took good care of my clothes. So we're gonna go downstairs and pick it up, and I'll need to put all those clothes away, because I think there's a lot of clothes, but um, I'm excited, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited to see like how it all came. Like A lot of people in New York do this, because a lot of people aren't blessed or privileged enough to have these washer and dryers and unit, which I really am. So a lot of people honestly just do the wash and fold because it's easier, it's fast, and um, it's not super expensive. It's not cheap, but especially if you give them like a small amount of clothes, like it just gets more expensive as they weigh the clothing. So let's go see. Wow, I feel like such an adult getting things dry cleaned. I borrowed my friend's dress, so I wanted to make sure to dry clean it. And then a dress I wore in Cabo, and then a blazer I got dry cleaned. And then, um, this is all the folded laundry. I thought maybe they would give it back to me in like a laundry bag, but maybe I need to purchase one. But I think my washer's coming next week, so no need. Wow. Wow, I forgot my underwear's in there. They literally folded my underwear. That's so weird to me. Oh my god. Wow. This is... It smells good. It smells different because it's like not my detergent, but I am so thankful for a service like this in moments like this. All right, I'm gonna have a little snack because obviously we have brunch at 12.30 and I wanna enjoy that, but I need a little something now. So I'm gonna have just an avocado with some salt and pepper. I need to figure out what I'm wearing today because it's actually not even hitting 70 degrees today. Yesterday was pretty warm, but I feel like it'll still feel pretty warm. Um, I was thinking like a tan, like a cargo skirt I have that I haven't worn yet with like a white bodysuit and just dress it up with a ton of jewelry. I've been into like lots of rings and necklaces and stuff like that. Um, so that's the vibe I'm feeling. Now this is a work of art. So I've been putting off doing this because I was traveling and I was like, this is going to take a minute. I don't really know how long it's going to take, but I'm excited. I'm doing bite. Um, if you guys didn't. No, it's kind of similar to other services where it straightens your teeth. I'm doing the one where you just wear it at night because um, I was just like, I don't see myself wanting to wear these trays all day, every day. And when I found out that Bite has a nighttime version where you just wear them at night, I was all in. So um, 
I'm gonna do it, but I have to do the impressions kit and I have to like send it back to them. So I'm about to follow these instructions and do it. I think now is just my best time to do it. Um, but I'm excited. I don't know. My bottom teeth have just moved a lot, and you guys have told me that, and I'm aware. Thank you. I had braces when I was younger, and then I stopped wearing my retainer in, like, college, and I definitely regret it. So if you're thinking about not wearing a retainer, just wear it, because now here I am doing this all over again, but it's going to be a lot easier. Oh, boy, this is giving flashbacks to when I got a retainer. I think there's, like, impression putty and I'm gonna have to put it in there and then, oh my gosh, it's like I need help doing this. <laughs> All right, I got my gloves on, mixing the dark and light putty I really need to put on my other glove. This is kind of fun, a little arts and crafts moment. I was just watching the video. I have to do it four times though. But yeah, these are my teeth now. I'm happy at the top, but the bottom, there's like that one tooth that has moved and it really bothers me, especially since I film and photograph my whole life. All right, here goes nothing, see you guys later. This might be so gross, but here are my top teeth, hee hee hee. That wasn't that hard, but it definitely is not easy either. But three and a half minutes, I just watched some TikToks. Okay, I went ahead and did one set, and I'm gonna do the other set later because it's almost 11 o'clock, and I wanted to get a workout in today, but I didn't have time to go to the gym, so we're gonna do Sculpt Society class because I saw there's a 23 minute class, like a live class today with Katie, who I've met in person, and that's her. 23 minute full body in five minutes. I'm so excited. They also have classes just like on their website, like like a platform, but I love taking the live one. So I need to get together my stuff because I have, I haven't put away my laundry yet. I have like the Sculpt Society things. They sent them to me, which was really nice a while back. Um, what is this? I don't know, ball of bangle or something. Um, but we have the ball, the sliders, the bands, so anything they tell me to grab, I will have. Ugh, you know what I do need to get? I need to get, like, some little yoga mat or something. But it's, like, dance cardio mixed with workout. I'm gonna not have these shoes on. All right, Katie's in the studio. Oh, there she is. Hi, cutie. I've got my sneakers on. I'm wearing a knee sleeve. It's a long story, but it's just been bothering me since I started incline walking, so love that for me. But I'm not gonna film because I can't edit this. Woo! I brought my ball of bangles out too because she said weights and I don't have weights, but I have these ankle weights, the ball. I don't think I'm gonna need this today, but we're starting at 11 o'clock on the dot. I'm so excited. She plays music too. Woo! Woo! That was no joke. 23 minutes of intensity, but I feel good. I love a quick workout like that. Now I'm kind of on the clock. I gotta shower and get ready for this brunch and pick out an outfit and all the things, so let's do this. Okay, showered, got dressed, I'm happy with my outfit. I'll show you guys in a little now. I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, I've been loving this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I just put on the Sunday Riley CEO Glow. Sometimes I forget, but I try not to forget, is to do my eyebrows first. Um, I switch between the Anastasia Brow Freeze, which is this, and then the Refi brow gel just depends on my mood this is like definitely more intense i mean like look at, <laughs> look at those brows it definitely gives you that um laminated look I and mean, once they get in place they're very hard to move so and you don't really want to put your foundation on top of it because it like looks weird and all flaky it's so hard to get your eyebrow i mean your eyebrows are not s twins they're sisters but it's hard man I always have trouble with this left brow, but then you don't want to play with it too much because then it gets all flaky like I'm talking about. Okay. Nice and lifted. I feel like I look kind of funny. Sometimes I forget when I do my brows that my, like it really opens up your face, honestly. Um, I'm always switching up in between foundation. I used this one yesterday, the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation. Really like that. I'll put on a little bit of this Kosas. Glow IV. Um, you can use it as highlight, or I mix it in with my foundation sometimes. Today, I'm just gonna put it on under my makeup. It just gives like this beautiful glow. Or if you guys watched my Get Ready with Me with Kelly, Makeup XKA, she showed me she put she blended this Glow IV with like a cream blush, and then put it on my cheeks, and it looked so good and dewy. 
so we love that but hmm foundation today i really want to use my armani but i feel like it's too dark oh but i have a lighter version so i'm gonna mix these two when i get back from florida the goal is to be very tan but until then we're gonna mix some foundations hopefully that works um I need to like get like a palette or something so I can mix the two better because then yeah I think that's good I'll just blend to the neck that's what I always do I just love this foundation so much it's just the best um anyways yeah going to this brunch for hot girl talks and lingerie and Jonathan Adler it's gonna be a whole fun moment I know I'm probably gonna see a lot of people I know there and then I know Katie Bellotti's going too which is always exciting because we're besties so I'm like oh hey buddy um but yeah gonna do that and then you guys always ask about these necklaces um i have a ton of necklaces from this place it's called new top jewelry in soho i didn't think you could order online but then someone said <laughs> as i'm touching my throat so <laughs> someone said you can like whatsapp them so maybe their instagram is jane s1803 her name is Jane, the main woman that owns the place and like helps you, like you walk in and you just say like, I want a necklace set and she helps you build one out. Um, so Brooke and I did that the other day. I don't think I vlogged it. I don't think I was vlogging that day, but Brooke vlogged it and it was so fun. So I did this airplane seashell with a cowboy boot and then I already had this one from New Top, but it's a nice layering piece. And then I just layered this over top. I don't know. But anyways, when I was there, I really wanted a four-leaf clover because I'm Irish, um, part Irish at least. My last name, Carolyn, is Irish. I'm Irish and Italian. And uh, my family is a big fan of four-leaf clovers, and they're good luck. And I thought it'd be really fun to have my last one be, because I also have a 13. Um, you could One would could say for Taylor Swift, I've got it more so because... My brother and my dad were both born on the 13th, um, and so I have a 13, but I also wanted another one, a four-leaf clover, like a big one on the bottom, and she didn't have any, and she was like, I'll make you one. I was like, you can make me one, and so she DM'd me, like, a couple days ago, I was like, it's ready, so I can't wait to go see it today. I'm gonna go there after brunch, because I'll be in Soho, and get it and i'll probably have to buy the chain as well because you buy the chains and charms separately a lot of people are asking me pricing wise like if you're coming to new york and you're like i want to go it varies she literally weighs it um in front of you and then that determines the price um usually the bigger ones weigh more obviously <laughs> they always do so they'll cost more if they're more intricate stuff like that but they vary from like 45 dollars to like 150 a charm i'd say and then you have to buy the chain separately um, most of the chains are like 75 to 100 dollars i want to say at least from my experience but like don't quote me so it's expensive especially if you want to go in and buy like a full set but you could also like every time you come to new york you could go and get a necklace like that could be your thing or if you already have chains you just go and get a charm so it's really fun it's really customizable um new top jewelry not sponsored just love them and yeah i thought i'd give that little in information because a lot of people ask i'm just gonna keep doing my makeup and I'll check in with you guys and show you my outfit before I leave. So, so I already put on bronzer. So this might be a bad idea. But I really want to try out this new bronzing technique or like contour technique that people were doing on TikTok where you bring it to the, your jaw and then down like this. I feel like I just I I am not good at makeup I feel and then I'll just blend I don't know I think it's supposed to make you look like you have this intense jawbone situation I don't know maybe I need to make it brighter on here I think it might have done something but I also mm-hmm I don't really know we're gonna try it now I just feel like I look like I have lots of bronzer on. <laughs> maybe I should have done that before I bronzed my whole face, but maybe it makes my face look snatched. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm really liking my makeup now. It's coming together. Um, I have been using this for years, and then I just repurchased it when I saw it at um, Dwayne Reed. It's the Revlon like cream eyeshadow in not just nudes. If you've been watching me for like 
eight years or so, you would know. I have been using just this cream eyeshadow sa uh, shade, like the second darkest or the second lightest one, all over my lid, and it looks so good. Lazy girl hack because I don't really like to put on a lot of eyeshadow. I just get lazy at night. I do, but during the day, I'm like, oh, I want a little something, and it's so pretty. I obviously don't have lip stuff on right now either. Um, and then I also just use this Makeup Forever, like, bay. it's in the color Boundless Bisque. I used it in my under eyes. What else do I want to do? Oh, I need to give my skin a glow again. Use that Caudalie. I just used a lot because I was like, give me the glow. Lips, I don't know if I have any lip liner in this. Do I? No, I don't. Um, but we're gonna do lips. I mean, I could just put this on because I always wear this. This is Vegas by Kosas. Add some color. I still have to do my hair. Oh my gosh. And I wanted to walk there. It's like a 20 minute walk. But I really want to walk there. And we're gonna walk there. And then to finish it all off, Lancome Juicy Tubes in Tickled Pink. So. We're gonna do this little moment. So cute. And I'm not wearing mascara because I got my lashes lifted and tinted recently and they still look really good. So once I start putting mascara on and then I have to take it off at night, it just like the tint starts to go away. So I'm trying to preserve that. And then to top it all off, the grand finale, this one size, until dawn waterproof setting spray this stuff literally feels like you're putting hairspray on your face but i like it so i need my makeup to last because when i get back later i need to film some content here's better lighting of the makeup i think we did a good job wait do i blend okay yeah it's just the contour i think uh, here is the fit for brunch it's pretty simple but I don't know, it just makes me really happy. Bodysuit is Abercrombie. Skirt is Princess Polly. I love this skirt so much. It fits like a glove, has elastic on the back, and then a cute little slit so it's easy to walk. I need a new pair of white sneakers. The only ones I have are my Air Forces, and I feel like I'm just kind of tired of them. But I was like, I need all white sneakers to wear. <laughs> I probably should have changed my socks because I have like smiley face socks on. Oh my gosh, you can like see the smiley faces. <laughs> Um, and then just like all the jewelry, hair, I might do sunglasses as a headband situation. But yeah, that's the fit. It's pretty simple. Gonna do these sunglasses. They're from Les Spec. I love them. See, sunglasses as a headband is just the best accessory. And then I'm gonna do my Bottega tote in case I collect things along the way. Um, but there's nothing in there right now. This was my tote bag yesterday. So I'm gonna bring my wallet, of course. And then AirPods, hand sanitizer, lip balm, and then I just need to get my lip color, but these are the things that are going in me purse. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, well, yeah, like my lip color. I'll just bring this Tower 28 lip color. It's similar to what I'm wearing right now. And we'll just do a little beige moment. I think even the bag adds a little bit more. This is so like plain of me, but I really, I'm happy with this outfit out here headed to brunch so they were like so we're on I was like are you dating like what's up you think he's very cute too hot yes say hello 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 this is so cute cheers Wow, so gorgeous. I love this. I wish I had lemons to put in. Brunch was amazing, and then I went to Bloomingdale's because my aunt was telling me about these jeans that she got. They looked so good on her. They were like a nice straight leg, or a little flare, honestly. Um, but I was like, I need those, and they're like the, I think it's a Bloomingdale's brand, but I'm not sure. It's like DL 1961. And I went to Bloomingdale's, I was like right by it, and they had them because I really wanted a pair of dark wash jeans that fit really well, and these are nice and stretchy and comfy. I tried them on, I love them. <laughs> Guys, I'm walking around the city right now, 
and that skirt it's in my purse right now I changed because my legs just rub back and forth together so it's like a tight skirt there's slits on the back but it's not the right skirt for roaming around New York so I literally went to the bathroom after I bought the jeans and put it back on that's not why I bought them but it worked out so my skirt is in my bag <laughs> it's definitely a sitting skirt I just got my final necklace, my four leaf clover. It looks so good, you guys. I love. <laughs> just got a mid afternoon iced decaf latte, and I'm gonna go sit in Washington Square Park. I have a call at four, which is in five minutes. So instead of racing home, I was like, I'll sit on a lovely bench and take the call. So. I need to find the perfect bench for me to sit at. There are so many people out right now. It's like perfect weather. I was literally almost to my apartment and I spilled coffee on my bodysuit. Cheers. Ah, hello everybody. It's a lot later. I have been filming lots of content, some sponsored, some not. I've been wanting to make some more like reels and TikToks with outfits, stuff like that. And I don't know why I decided today to be the day that I like pound everything out because I'm just having a bad body image day. I like don't like my face today. I don't like my makeup. I don't like my hair and I always like my hair like this. I don't know. It's just hitting today and I don't know why. Um, but I finally finished everything I wanted to get done. So I'm just gonna take all my makeup off and put my hair up, put on some comfy clothes and just get on with it. I don't know something's going on with me and there's just days like this everybody has those days or everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days i don't know just having a day and oh my god now my hair is really annoying me but it's all good problems to have and well not really the filming stuff is good problems to have but the body image and face image and everything is not fun and I don't wish that upon any of you guys, but I do know we all have days like that. And it's so crazy because then you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, I like liked that outfit or I thought you looked so cute. So like I'm filming all this content. I'm like, I can't even look at it right now because it's pissing me off. And I need to like go look at it tomorrow and edit it. Nothing's due tonight. Nothing I need to get done. Today was just my day to kind of do the filming part. So we'll see. It's making me want to change my hair again. I really, I think I want to grow it out and do like some dimension, like Matilda Jerf's hair color is kind of what I'm in the mood for now. Like a honey blonde moment and then grow it. That's what I wanna do. I love my short hair, but there's only so many things I can do with it and it just annoys me. But I do love it for the time being and I'm gonna rock it for the time being. Uh, hold on, I'm vlogging. I'm FaceTiming Ryan right now. He's on my mirror. Um, he's flying tomorrow and is bringing his golf bag and trying to figure that all out, but about to head over to Delaney's apartment. I haven't, I don't even know the last time I saw Delaney. It was like weekends ago at this point. We literally both live in New York, but we both travel like opposite schedules, so love that. But we're trying to keep our tradition alive of cooking together once a week. And I'm going over to her apartment tonight and we're making, it's gonna be very easy assembly. Um, we're just doing like arugula with breaded chicken, cherry tomato, and like lemon juice on top. Um, it's like a collaboration idea between the two of us because she's like obsessed with arugula right now If you guys listen to the podcast with her, you would know um, <laughs> Dead there's Ryan right there. Um, here's my fit. It's just kind of I just like didn't know what to wear So I'm wearing this aloe workout set. I mean, I'm not working out, but I'm wearing this this um, Skims tank top. I think it's like a gray. I really like this color all my new fun necklaces my same socks from earlier, Free People socks, and then my Hoka sneakers. And yeah, I'm so excited to just go over there, chill, catch up. Like, it's seriously been so long since I've, like, seen her. So, I'm excited. I took a shower, took all my makeup off. I feel a lot better. We're at Delaney's pad. <laughs> I love your kitchen. You? Oh, it's like the Gatsby. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Back at it, baby. Love it, love it, love it. We out here, we are chit-chatting, making salad dressing, attempting to at least. 
and sure it's going so it far. looks everything is looking dapper so we love that do you want to add tomatoes or no yeah definitely okay. wait do you have the breaded chicken yeah. should we heat that up should i grab do you want it or no no i do love Ugh. this is the best stuff yep this is the chicken breaded chicken with this salad hits diff i don't know my mom's boyfriend always makes it at home and this like whole pairing is delicious so Wow, I'd say we've outdone ourselves, Delaney. The ultimate lazy meal. We but like, <laughs> we did not even cook it. It was in the microwave, but it looks so good. Six foot. We're going through Delaney's hinge right now. I'm that basic, Alex, I'm vlogging right now. I'm that basic friend that like, the basic friend that's in a relationship. It's like, let me see what your app looks like. There's just mm. nothing for the me. The photos here. that these guys choose are very interesting. Ooh, this guy's oh, cute. he has a sister. He has cute. He is cute. He doesn't give a He's an attorney. Oh, he's five ten. Oh, he lives in New Jersey. That might be a commute for you. He doesn't have children. <laughs> he's twenty nine. He's old. Oh, he's mature. Yikes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, he is cute. Is the one in the back? shared her screen with her friend for FaceTiming right now, so she could see oh, her. Oh, his dog's hinge. cute. Look. He has a doodle. Aww. Oh, he's cute. He's five ten though. Yeah, you're you're five eleven. You can't date I'm him. I'm gonna no. say no. Oh, he was on a red carpet. This guy. Oh, he's cute. He looks kind of like clouty, like he's into clout. It's giving douche though. It's giving douche. So yeah. yeah. Oh. This guy's on a boat. Hello, we boy. Boat he went to Auburn. SEC vibes. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he is cute actually. He is cute. This is really. Oh, I don't like this answer. <laughs> His greatest strength. <laughs> Peloton. He's a Bengals fan. Oh. Hmm. I think you could heart it, no? Yeah. See your height? We'll give him a good like. This is so fun. Hello. Oh, I'm wearing my blazer. I had left this blazer at Delaney's apartment. And when I left my apartment, it was actually cold. And But I was like, I'm already on my way. So Delaney was like, well, here's the blazer that I'm returning to anyway. So I had warmth. Tonight was so fun. We had so much to catch up on because we hadn't seen each other in so long. And then her coworkers who were in town like stopped by. And I, I mean, it's 12.49 right now, and I'm like wide awake, which is the problem because I have to get up to work out tomorrow. But I'm going to upload all this footage now and put everything together. No edits. You guys know the drill. And then this video is literally going up today. Like, I'm filming this today. It's going up today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. You guys always love these, which I'm really happy about. And I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye.